welcome again to this week's instalment of Wellness Weekly. We have looked already at the very important issue of drugs and how they relate to a pregnant woman. Everyone knows pregnant women shouldn't take illicit drugs, but it's the legal ones, namely alcohol and tobacco, that are more commonly the source of pregnancy problems. Today I wanted to discuss these two legal drugs that expectant mothers simply must avoid. Dr. Jeffrey King, the Director of Maternal and Fetal Medicine at Wright State University School of Medicine and the author of a recent study on substance abuse in pregnancy commented, and I quote, I think if women truly understood the adverse impact smoking and drinking have on their babies, they would quit. So what do the statistics say? Women who smoke double their chance of a miscarriage, have a greater probability of a preterm birth, a 25% increased likelihood of placenta previa, which is where the placenta covers the cervix, a higher incidence of placental detachment, and a 30% increased likelihood of a stillbirth. The babies of mothers who smoke during pregnancy are prone to low birth weights, are more likely to have poor lung development, asthma and respiratory infections, and to die of sudden infant death syndrome. Maternal smoking has also been shown to increase the risk of childhood cancer by 50%. We often hear a mother who smokes use the excuse that because of the stress of quitting, it would be more stressful on the developing child than to continue smoking. It is important for the mother to realise that this is simply not true. If a woman quits smoking early in pregnancy, she can still improve her chances of having a healthy baby. Expectant fathers or other members of the family should also quit, as studies suggest breathing passive smoke may be dangerous as well. Alcohol too can damage a developing baby. Alcohol travels rapidly to the bloodstream, so when an expectant mother drinks, her baby drinks also. Alcohol is known to cause mental retardation and facial abnormalities in babies, a condition called fetal alcohol syndrome. Some people, even some obstetricians, may argue that a simple glass of wine each day during pregnancy is well within your limits and will not cause any problems with your developing child. However, no one really knows what amount of alcohol is safe during pregnancy. For this reason, the authorities recommend pregnant women avoid alcohol altogether. At the very least, the expectant mother should limit any alcohol intake to the latter stages of pregnancy. This way their baby's liver will be more developed and may have an easier time filtering and breaking down the toxicity of alcohol. Please be aware that these suggestions are offered to you from a wellness perspective and are based upon known, well-documented effects. However, if you are pregnant or your partner is pregnant, ultimately only you can decide what you feel is best for you and the baby. The information we have provided here is purely and simply so that you as a caring parent can make an informed decision with regard to your lifestyle choices. Please talk with us about any concerns you may have. Remember, chiropractors are the world leaders in wellness care and can be a great source of information as well as support for you.